All right, last game of the game week, a monumental battle at the top of the Premier League, Tom. It's going to be Man City versus Arsenal, starting with you here. Um, Arsenal have only beaten City once in the last 15 games. They've only had one draw as well in the last 15 games. So this points to an, uh, just a City win. There has been 45 goals in all those uh, games. So obviously three goals per game, but majority of the time it's been uh, a spanking for Arsenal. So this is the first time an Arsenal team, I would say, is going to City with confidence they've won eight games in a row in 2024 they're banging in goals left right and center this is the time for arsenal to kind of really fucking you know put their you know put the marker down that they're ready to win the league this is it yeah this is the final battle for yeah. arteta this to beat uh guardiola <laughs> um at man city would be huge that that would give him a lot more confidence in himself um yeah. Like even though like he's a confident manager, the Arsenal team is probably one of the most exciting teams that I've seen mm. in the last like since the Invincibles. Um, it's a good young squad. Um, Hungry, you know. And the one thing that I've noticed this season, and it's actually been pretty early on in the season, nobody is talking about the hundred million pound price tag of uh, Deck and oh, Rice yeah. because it has been absolutely worth worth it. Like if. Like I even seen on Twitter a few times or X or whatever you call it now, um, that we actually owe West Ham more money because he's just been that damn good. Yeah, um, yeah another, another 30, 40 million onto that. Yeah, and <laughs> Saka, he's been um, like, he's probably one of the best forward players for Arsenal since Definitely. Henry and Wright. He's been. But you know what? Consistent. The interesting thing about Saka, like he's he's contributed a lot this season, but it just seems like he hasn't been playing to his full. Ability I, I agree, as well. I he's agree kind of struggling yeah. in second gear, but he's still banging. He's like what, uh, 20, yeah. 28 goals and assists or something. Yeah, uh, I think it was like six, season. sixteen goals. I think it was this. this yeah, like twelve so assists. I think it is or eleven assists. Yeah, like he's been like. Unfortunately, you know, Martinelli hasn't kind of reached the form of last season. Odegaard has. Odegaard's been creating a lot, but he hasn't been scoring as much as last season or assisting as much as last season. But that you know, you can't put that down to him solely. You know. <laughs> You know, I, th- I, th- I, I, actually, I actually think Odegaard is hitting form at the right time. 100%. Yeah. He's hitting oh, form at the right man. time. And then the two yeah. uh, center backs, uh, Gabriel and Saliba, like, touch wood, we don't actually yeah. get another stupid injury to Saliba again yeah. uh, at a vital point. Um, Just comparing man, to last season, you know, we lost, uh, you know, Saliba uh, at the wrong time. But it seems like this season, you know, we're getting Parity back, Timber's coming back as well, Tomiyasu is back. We're getting everyone back at the right time, and yeah, just you know, yeah, it's, we have to go for but, it, really. But, but then again, it's City. It's City at home. Yeah. It's, and it's even it's though city they haven't, home. City haven't been playing the best this season, there's still only one loss in fourteen. That was against Aston Villa. What seems like, you know, months and months ago. Yeah, yeah. this it's it, it's a savage it's a savage game looking in from the outside and yeah. like very much in the outside in the rain as well. Being a United fan, a lot of rain. Um, it's a cup final though it really is a cup final yes. even though there's still nine games left of the season this is a, like if if Arsenal can win this game even a draw is good but if they can win this game that's huge for the whole league it's not just for for Arsenal and City versus yeah. the league it's huge for everyone yeah. um, but as I said City aren't unbeatable at home like like you, you have to be confident going there like as a United sport I'm always confident there blindly confident but Rodri is the big one yeah um, I think the, oh, he's about 60 is it 60 games now 60, he's gone unbeaten. Games unbeaten yeah so like come on he's, he's so good it's what he brings to the team as well um, he's just crazy now he's, he's a he's a yellow card merchant well if he can get a yellow card see, he does foul a lot like and sometimes yeah, gets yeah. away with it though, but gets, yeah, gets away with City's, City's, City's defence hasn't been there this season um, altogether like it's which is very strange but like, look if there's anyone that can that can beat City at home it's it's Arsenal and that, that would be such a I don't want to say change change of guard necessarily because there's still a lot of season to go, but it'll be such a monumental moment. Um, I wonder that'll be talked about for a long time if if Arsenal in any way, shape, or form can get a positive result against City. Yeah. Right, Rob, good. predictions. One one. Ten. One 0 Arsenal. One 0 Arsenal. I'm going to say two two one Arsenal. We're going to win the league. <laughs> 